Hey guys, welcome to Above All Journal and day six of June Journal Journey 23. Our prompt today is, I'll bring it closer to you, where do you feel most fulfilled in your life? So, before I get started into that, I do have some crystals that I brought in today. So, uh, first one here, I have this white howlite. This is perfect for calming communication, facilitating awareness, and encouraging emotional expression. And this is one of my absolute favorite crystals of all time. I love it. I love the... I just love the look of it. And then I have this one. It's a carnelian. This is great for... Um, Promoting courage, endurance, energy, leadership, and motivation. And then I am wearing my Lava Rock bracelet that I made. And I put some of this grounding oil by Chateaupia Scents on it. If you're wondering what this smells like, it smells like dirt. <laughs> But it is for grounding purposes. Um, the Lava Rock is great for cleansing negative thoughts and emotions and stimulating creativity. So really, Lava Rock and Carnelian would be a powerhouse. That would be perfect. So uh, first starting off, um, I'm just going to write down... The word fulfilled and I'm going to define it because fulfilled isn't really a word you hear I, I personally don't hear it often so um, yeah I'm gonna define it so fulfilled satisfied or happy because of Fully developing one's developing. Okay. So fulfilled means satisfied or happy because of fully developing one's abilities or character. So honestly, as a stay-at-home mom, I don't, I don't feel like I am as fulfilled um, because usually when you think of like, are you being fulfilled? Do you think of um, your career or something outside of your home? So it's really hard as a stay-at-home mom to like feel fulfilled in life. Um, but. I often think of this when I'm really frustrated with my life. Um, I often think like, wow, what is the point of me just staying home all the time? Like, I am not succeeding. I'm not doing anything. Like, I'm just raising kids. And honestly, stay-at-home moms are so important because they are literally giving a foundation to the next generation. And that honestly is such a big deal. And I hate that the world kind of looks down on stay-at-home moms because, oh, you're just you're just being in the nursery, you know. You're just raising kids. And and honestly, it is really important that people do that. So I'm putting that down. Um Okay, so I wrote, raising the next generation, teaching them and nurturing them. That is so, that's honestly such a big deal. Like people don't even realize how big of a deal that is. Um, so another way that I stay fulfilled as a stay at home mom 
is I have to have like goals that I set for myself. So, um, I have to-do lists and then if I get the things on my to-do list done, then I know that um, I am creating a home. So I'm gonna do that, creating a home. And that's really important too. A house is not a home unless you make it one. Also, when I'm talking about stay-at-home moms, like, I realized that working moms do this too, but like, wow, they have so much more to do than just, you know, nurturing the kids. Like, they're also the breadwinners. Like, they're doing everything else too. So please don't think that I am uh, in any way saying like, honestly, I'm jealous. <laughs> you guys are so great. Um, but like you guys do more and um, like not only are you like excelling in careers and your jobs but you're also doing these things too and it's great so please don't think that I am uh, looking down on you in any way this is just my perspective I've never been a working mom and uh, you know having to do this too so I I can't relate to that so please understand like this is in no way casting shade on anybody I don't want anybody to think that so um, yeah so to do list creating a home um, I'm gonna put home in quotations because that can mean something for a lot of different people and including myself so what does home mean that's that's what I'm kind of putting out there uh, let's see number three I want to do at least five so just throwing that out there um, staying current so um, what I mean by that is skill development um, I understand that soon I will be probably going back to work and it's going to be really hard to explain how um, how I've stayed current like what have I done so honestly I try to keep up with the times at home and I will read articles to help me in my development as um, somebody who would be hireable in the future you know so um, I take some I take classes on things I earn like certificates and honestly it's just stuff that I find online usually but it helps me to feel like I'm not being left behind in the world I haven't worked um, like an actual job since 2019 so um, it's going to be hard to be coming back into it and being like, okay, yeah, I've been gone for half a decade raising children. How do I, you know, <laughs> how do I present to you skills that I have that are relevant? So that's something that I do like to do is staying up to date. I try to stay up to date with like technology. I try to stay up to date with news and just like scientific breakthroughs and stuff like that. I did go to school to be a teacher. Um, that's neither here nor there, but uh, I probably end up going back into the school district at some point. So I try to stay current on like things that are going on within the schools and stuff. So that's a way to feel fulfilled um, this kind of goes with the above but I try to be I try to have like a full reading list and I do a lot of reading so so far this year I have read 36 books and Honestly, that is a lot for me considering like with the kids situation, I have them home all the time and then, um, you know, it's, it's time consuming to read that much. Like there are other people out there that's like, I've read 70 books already and it's like, wow, that's great for you. But, um, 
Some people don't read a book at all after they leave high school. And so reading is really important to me. It's a way I feel fulfilled. And then five, a oh, man. Um, I think this is probably gonna go back to, <laughs> bye bye pen. Let's see if this one works. Uh, spiritual practices, um, connecting with self and divine. Honestly, that is a way I feel fulfilled. Um, I used to go to church and uh, I don't go to church anymore because of certain things. <laughs> That's neither here nor there, but I have found ways to still be a spiritual person and um, yeah. So those are ways that I feel fulfilled as a stay-at-home mom and let's put something cute on this. I feel like this was such a drag, you know? Whoa. Honestly, this is really helping me, like, see some of the positives in life, you know? Like, this is cute. I like the stars. This is really helping me see some things that, um, that are really good. And these are really good things. So, I'm going to put this on here, too. Do all the things. Because that's what we do as moms, right? We do all the things. And we hardly ever get recognition for it. Sometimes we do. But, like, mostly kids don't notice. They're like, yeah, that's just mom's job, right? I'm trying to put this in a way that I have, like... It's not going to happen. It's going to be uneven. <laughs> oh, well. But there it is. So this was 6, 15, 23. So there she is. I have a list of things to feel fulfilled. <laughs> um, I will see you guys on the 20th on Monday and we're going to be talking about what happiness means to us so uh, if you are interested in following along the rest of the month I will see you on Monday bye guys <laughs>